everybody and welcome to Music with Meg. I'm Meg and today we're learning about ledger lines. Everybody follow me, it's Music with Meg. Now we've already learnt how to read music in the bass and treble clefs. In the treble clef, the notes on the lines are E, G, B, D and F and the notes in the space spell face F, A, C and E and in the bass clef the notes in the lines are G, B, D, F and A and the notes in the spaces are A, C, E and G but what if you want to play notes that are higher or lower than the lines and spaces allow. Well, in that case, we need to extend the stave or staff by using ledger lines. Now we could just keep adding lines to the stave or staff, but that would be very messy. So ledger lines are smaller lines that are attached to the note and show the stave or staff extending higher or lower. Now let's look at the treble clef. The lowest note on the stave or staff is E. E goes on the bottom line. Now remember that when we're going up and down the stave or staff, we always go in a pattern. Line, space, line, space, line, space. So the next note up or down always continues the pattern. So if we go one note down from E, which is D, that's going to go in the space underneath the stave or star. Now if D goes in a space, then is the next note down going in a space or on a line? It's going on a line, but there are no lines left. So this is where we draw the line ourselves. So we put the next note C, down one from D and we add our own ledger line. Now if we want to go down from C, the next note is B. Does B go on a line or in a space? Well if C goes on a line, then B needs to go in a space. So let's put it in the space just below C and we leave the ledger line there. And the next note down, that will be A. Does A go in a line or in a space? Well, if B was in a space, then A goes in a line. And so now we need to add another ledger line. So we leave the first ledger line where C was and we add one through the middle of the note A. And so on and so on. You keep going down, adding new ledger lines and remembering to keep in the pattern of line, space, line, space, line, space. And it works the same way going upwards. So the top note on the stave or star in the treble clef is F. But if we want to write the next note up, which is G, we put it on top of the stave or star in that space there. And then we keep going. So if we want A, does that go in a line or a space? It goes in a line. So we draw the line on. That's our first ledger line. The next note up is B, which will need to go in a space. So we put that on top of the ledger line. And then the next note up is C. So C needs to go in a line. And so we leave the other ledger line there and we draw a new one for the note C. And so on and so on, we keep going up. Remembering to stay in the pattern of line, then space, then line, then space. Now it can be tricky to read music with lots and lots and lots of ledger lines. So there are a few ways that musicians avoid too many ledger lines. Let's look at the ledger lines in the bass and treble clefs. They meet here at the note C. We call this 
middle C. Now from this point, you can keep using ledger lines to go up in the bass clef and down in the treble clef, but it might be easier to change the clef. To change the clef, you need to write the new clef symbol in the music, and then from that point forward, all of the notes will be in the new clef. Now you can also avoid using too many ledger lines by using the symbols 8VA and 8VB. Now the 8V stands for octave and the A stands for above. So if you see the symbol 8VA, it means that you need to play the notes that are written an octave higher. Now the 8VB symbol stands for octave and B below, which means that you need to play the notes that are written an octave lower. So if you see an 8VB symbol here, you can see that this note is D, but rather than play D where it is, you need to play the D that is an octave lower. Let's recap what we learnt today. We learnt that you can use ledger lines to add notes that go above or below the staff or stave. We learnt that you can switch clefs during a piece of music to avoid using too many ledger lines. And we learnt that you can add the symbols 8VA, an octave higher, or 8VB, an octave lower. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you'll know when my video comes next week. But for now, have a lovely week and I'll see you next time. Bye! Before you go, please consider making a contribution to Music With Meg. You can join me on Patreon or via PayPal. Thank you so much everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye!